What's up everybody, it's Val. Welcome back to Stray Gods. Oh my god, is all I have to say. Last episode, I was emotional. I literally had to take a take a minute to myself after that episode. Oh my god. It was it was crazy. It was we saved Aphrodite. That's all that matters. But I was I was about to be emotional and I was like, I wanted to say something, but I'm like, I can't because I'm gonna cry, so we're not doing that. What we are doing is looking into our journal because we haven't looked at that in a while. So let's do that. Are we gonna learn anything more about Calliope? I don't think so. Okay, I said I- did I already talk about- I'm just gonna read all of this because I don't know what I have and I'm not read. I don't remember. Went to Aphrodite's party and it's less of a party, more of a funeral. I guess Aphrodite never quite got over the terrible experience during the war and now she's passed on her- Now she's passing on her idol on every 20 years or so in order to forget what happened to her for a while. The entire thing sounds really macabre. Is that how you say that word? I think so. But a lot of other idols seem okay with it, everyone except for Calliope it seems. Arrow told me about what Aphrodite went through during the war, how she was kidnapped by the enemy, how she was freed by her husband, Hephaestus, who she never got to thank or say goodbye to. She riddled with so much guilt and trauma that she can't escape any of it. As soon as her memories return, she's in constant agony, even if she hides it pretty well. Even so, she does. he doesn't think what she is doing is the right answer for her problems. It certainly hasn't helped so far. No, it has not. I told Aeolus that I tried to persuade Aphrodite to hold on. Who knows, maybe it's not even possible I have to try because this, what she is doing to cope, is clearly isn't the answer. Yeah. She's insane in that aspect because the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again without changing a thing, expecting the same outcome. Or expecting a different outcome. But you're changing nothing. Your, your experiment, you're changing no valuables, nothing is changing, therefore the result, the outcome will not change. So, that's insane. But she's here, so I'm not going to call her anything, because that's not very nice. Aphrodite said something about, or Apollo said something about Aphrodite, which has stuck with me. He says she's chosen successor who are kind, generous people, because she thinks that in time it will make her a better person. In the end, I inspired Aphrodite to continue living. She was going to hold on and keep trying. I hope I didn't offend her too much during the song, but I had to do it. She's so regal and amazing. If everyone can do it, she can. Aw. Apollo! And guess who I bumped into at Aphrodite's little party? Small world, these idols turn out. It was good. Apollo was there. I kind of I kind of can't believe Persephone sent me in without heads up. Yeah, how dare she? I mean, I don't- I like Apollo. I don't know why that's an issue. I don't think Athena- I don't have anything new on her, do I? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Persephone, nothing new on her. Well, maybe, because she didn't do anything with the party. Yeah, because I forgot to do this in the last episode, so I'm sure there's a bunch of different things, but I don't really know. We shall find out. No, there's nothing new. Okay. Eros! Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna stick with the Apollo romance thing for now, but next time, because I don't want to, like, just romance everybody. I've romanced, like, three people, I think. I don't know. Next time, next playthrough, buddy, you and me gonna have some chats, okay? Damn, this man is fine. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna shut up before I expose myself any more than I already am. Alrighty, I think I already read this, but I'm gonna read it again. I met Eros later on at Aphrodite's party and suddenly his dark mood makes sense. It seems that he's Aphrodite's constant caretaker. He watches her throw parties and die over and over again and I think he's finally reached his limit. He can't stand Aphrodite's pain but I think he doesn't know what to do about it. He's hoping I can convince her to stop which is a tall order for sure and I don't know that it would actually make her better. Aphro Apollo says that he thinks Eros has stayed with Aphrodite all this time because he feels he owes her. Upon a time, it was Eros who was the eternal disaster, Apollo's words. And she was the caregiver, so now he must return the favor no matter how it hurts his soul. I think Apollo's probably right. Yes, he is. In the end, I did what Eros asked. I convinced Aphrodite to hold on to keep fighting. You should have seen him when she said she tried. I thought he was going to collapse into tears right on the spot. I hope I did the right thing. You did do the right thing. Venus! I love Venus. She's so nice. She, I love her, her vibe. You know what I mean? It's just beautiful. Also, I love that they have a character in a wheelchair in a video game. Like, she's not, like, a main character, but she was about to be a main character. So I just love seeing inclusion with, with different people and, and how different people live their lives. Because there's a lot of people in wheelchairs and there's not a lot of characters in video games with wheelchairs. And people are like, oh, it doesn't fit the story. Make it fit the fucking story, bitch. We need more people like that. Like, I, there was this one movie I was watching. And it wasn't the best movie in the world, but, you know. And there was a character who had... 
who was a diabetic. The main character was a diabetic, and there it was barely mentioned. There was one scene where her sugar got really low, but besides that, it wasn't really mentioned. But it was a start, you know? It wasn't well, but I'm like, we need more characters with illnesses and disabilities and diseases, like, in prominent parts in TV shows and movies and games. Like, we need that shit. Please, I ask for it. I beg for it. It is awesome! Ah! I met the person who's supposed to become the new Aphrodite. Her name is Venus, and she seems really sweet. Aphrodite has been preparing her for months. Must be nice. And she seems to know what she's getting into. And does that make it okay? I don't know. In the end, I expired Aphrodite to keep trying to stay alive. Still not sure how. I hope it was the right thing to do. I hope that Venus can forgive me for taking this opportunity away from her. If that's the way she even saw it, something tells me she's okay with it, and she'll be there to help Aphrodite through whatever comes next. Yes, she will. And then Medusa. Now, this is interesting. Once Aphrodite's party was over, I spoke to her and Eros, and guess who they brought up as a suspect? Medusa. You know the monster with the snake hair who turns people into stone? Even ever heard of her? Seems... Even I've heard of her. Okay, yeah. Seems Medusa is alive and well and works for Athena as some kind of watcher. What is that? A security guard? A spy? Aphrodite says she's suspicious as hell and worth looking into. I provide I can find her. I don't know where she'll be. Maybe she'll be in that one place with the other guy. Sorry, I'm fidgeting with my hair tie. Um... But the thing with Aphrodite, or not Aphrodite, Medusa, there we go. Um, the thing with Medusa is Medusa was sexually assaulted. She was, she was raped and people blamed her for it. And I think she was probably, I don't know if it was Zeus, but I remember she was raped by some prominent figure. Was it? Uh, not Persephone. Um, Poseidon? I don't know, one of the three main gods. It was like Odin, Hades, or, um, not Persephone. What the fuck is his name? Poseidon. There we go. Um, raped by one of them. And the other, someone didn't like that she seduced the men. I hate those type of people who blame the victim for it. Um, and she was cursed with the snakes and the people can't look her in the eye and and she's just uh, and she's not actually a monster people just see her, or convince she's a monster because what if they say and those people who are saying it have very high power very high authority which is very sad because that is a very much a realistic thing that happens to people nowadays my god I hate people so much sometimes like it's weird because sometimes most of the time I'm like there is good in this world there are good things things can happen and and people are good, right? But also, most of the time, I'm like, people are awful. We don't deserve to be here on this earth. We are just awful as a species. We are killing off so many species. We are um, using our power against, or our power to get what we want and not even dealing with the consequences of our actions. And we're killing off our planet. And we're also, um, people who do awful, horrible things get away with it because they have money and power or their family has money and power. No, if I ever have money and power, which I don't think I fucking will, and my family member does some shit, they're gonna be held fucking accountable. I hope to- I don't think any of my family members would do something like that. Granted, they don't have the curse, but you know what I mean. They wouldn't hurt someone like this, you know? They gotta be held fucking accountable. If, if something ever happens, even if I don't believe they did it, but it comes up find it out, they did. They are held fucking responsible for their goddamn actions, bitch. I'm gonna stop venting. It's more than 10 minutes into it. Let's stop. Let's finish this conversation with Apollo. Um, about F, about Do Medusa. You know where she is? Maybe. Really no. Medusa makes it her business to stay out of sight. Athena employs her as a spy master. Makes sense. A hound to do her bidding. A vicious hound at that. Mm -hmm. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain who would know. I'll, I'll try to, I probably have to talk to Pan or something. Are you alright, Grace? You seem troubled. Very much so. Thinking about Calliope's memories. What you said earlier. About Calliope's memories coming back. Yeah. That wasn't how I wanted you to find out. I'm sorry. It's okay. If I might suggest. Speak with Persephone about it. When you get a chance, it might be good for you. Okay. You think she could help? Persephone? <laughs> Persephone and I have our problems, but I can't deny she is insightful. Alright. She'll surprise you. Alright. I might do that. Thanks. 
Thank you. What? You have something to say? I assume you'll be on your way then? Maybe. Yeah, I should probably check in. Give my regards to Persephone. You see her. I will, thank you. Oh, we're going back home? No, we're going back to the club. I didn't realize we were going straight to Persephone. Uh, Apollo, always so dramatic. And well done, by the way. You may be the very first person ever to talk sense into Aphrodite. Yay! You kept things from me. Why didn't you tell me what it was really all about? Yeah, what the, the hell? Party? Why the veil lifting? And Calliope's memories eventually returning. Oh! Yeah, either. It's not something you can prepare for. I thought this was the best way. I remember the told last me. time I passed on my Eidolon. When did you pass on your Eidolon? I was married to... Uh, well, say you'd call him a gangster. <laughs> More of a thug. A mean, vicious little thug. Okay. Stephanie saved me from him. He tore his head Aww. clean off. But not before he fired a shotgun into her chest. My chest? A shotgun can kill a god? That's Whatever. it? Do you remember her? Do you remember who you were before? I still am her. Chastity, that is. Okay. You can see why I switched names. Oh, I remember being disgusted I was ever that weak. You Persephone weren't weak. made me strong. But it never really goes away. What, you? We all you have who you our were as a person? history, our personal horrors. Okay. Building up like sediment around our souls. Damn. You can't let it bury you, Grace. You are the only one who can keep your head afloat. All right. Incredible. I don't want to. I don't want to romance her. She'll be one of probably one of the. I do want to romance. I need. Okay. My gay panic going into this needs to be a sa 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 <sighs> satisfied at some point. So I will probably do that. But I think I'll do. What's her name? Freddy. I'll I'll romance Freddy okay, first. Yeah. So okay. How many people can I romance? Let me let me figure this out. I can romance Freddy. Um, Hermes, I don't think I can romance. Aphrodite, I don't think I can romance. Apollo. So we have Freddy and Apollo. Um, Persephone, Pan, and Eros. I think Eros. So there's five that I'm aware of right now. So I'm I'm on Apollo right now. Next I will do Freddy. No. Mm. Next I will do so Apollo. Eros, because he looks like he knows how to have a good time, and Freddy, then Persephone, and then Pan. I'm going to write that down. I need a pen. Do I want to write it down in this book? Look at this book. It's dusty. Look at this book. It's like a hand-bound book. It looks so nice. I don't know where the hell it came from. It's just here. There's like one. Oh, no, it's Ben. Why is it Ben? There's a random draw. There's a random drawing in there. What else is in here? Oh my god, I forgot I did this. Do you see that right there? That's when I was hunting animals in Far Cry 3. <laughs> and I was trying to like upgrade all my um packs and my bag so I could hold more items. Oh my god, that's funny. Path of the Hunter, that's for Far Cry 3 as well. So I could figure out what I needed. There are video ideas that I was going to do. Like, video ideas that I had. And that's it. Honestly, I think my brother made this at some point. And then I have something somewhere. I made a book. Um, in high school. Because we there was like a book making class. Which is very weird. Very niche. I don't think it lasted more than the one year. One semester. But I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna go look into that. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Um, it. It got a little tore up at some point. I think maybe my dog tore up the paper. But this is the cover. Oh, it's all, it's all dirty. Why is it dirty? Oh, that's paint. That's what that is. It's paint and pencil marks. But the side's a little bit cleaner. And, you know, there's a stain on it for some reason. But I have this nice pattern. That's rainbow. And then it's rainbow, and I did the seams all by myself. And it was so cool. 
And I got a bunch. I, there's nothing in here, by the way. There's, like, absolutely nothing. I'm debating if I want to make it into one of my songbooks, because I have, like, a thousand songbooks, and I always need a new one. Um, or, like, a little sketchbook or something, but this is so cool. I can't believe I still have this. I wasn't even sure I still had it. Yeah, and I had to, like, braid the binding. I don't think you can see that, but I had to braid the binding. Oh, my God, I'm going to leave it here as a little memoir. Memoir? Memory. I don't know. I was so proud of that. I brought that back. Brought that home. I'm like, Mom, I know how to make a book. She's like, all right. I'm like, oh, man, I was so, pr I was so proud of that. Ugh. All right, what was I doing? I feel like I am, like, the chicken. I'm Chicken from Chicken Little. What's his name? I don't know. I don't think his actual name was Chicken Little. Um, I'm not going to use this book, by the way. I love hand-bound books. Ugh, they're so nice. Um, I have, like, a thousand little notebooks beside me. So, and a bunch of pens I never use. It's just a pencil. What's this? Oh, this is another songbook? Why is this songbook over here? Oh, this is also my my budget. Okay. That I gotta go through again. I haven't done it in the past couple of months. I haven't done it since last... Since... Oh, this one's from a while ago. Um. Oh, this is just a bunch of random things I need to jot down book. That's what this is. It's not necessarily a song book. Okay. So what was the order? Apollo. And then who'd I say? Eros. And then then Freddy. And then that's three. Missing two more. Persephone. Alrighty. So that is the order. I don't know if I'm gonna, I might do that on camera. I'm not quite sure. Let me know what you think. If I should do that or not. Good, good, good to, to know. know. Thanks. Thanks. At, At any rate, rate, you have a name. Medusa. Hadn't occurred to me, honestly. She was always a Venus creature. I never pegged her as potentially disobedient. I'll see Maybe if I Athena wanted her to do it. In the meantime, Grace, do be careful. I will try my best. I hope you can hear the party music in the background because she is above a club, so that does make sense. Ah, uh, the reliquary. I kind of want to do that. I put to go to the reliquary for Pan's favor. I should probably talk to my friend, though. Day three. Oh my god, I only have four more days. Oh god, I'm going to talk to my friend and then I'll go to the reliquary. Reliquary? I don't know. <coughs> hey, hey, so what's the news, Miss Muse? Hi. Miss Muse. Well, does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. Aw. Well, I uh, stopped the goddess of love from killing herself, I guess. Crazy. Whoa. Do gods have interventions? You know, they're nothing like I thought they would be. Mm-mm. Everything else okay? Not in the slightest. Do we know who the killer is yet? No, nope. not just yet. No, we have some some okay, well, suspicions. If there's anything I can do, if I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> um, how are the friends? <laughs> how are our friends? What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, oh, I told them I you came so. home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should Aww. we tell them? Do you think? What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still crying on Brian's couch? Oh yeah, because he uh, can. I don't, I don't I know what happened, but you know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things. Oh, and that's sad. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us yeah. when they're ready. But right that's now, adorable. it's best just to not mix them up in this. I knew they were together. I fucking knew it. Okay. What do you know exactly about the gods? How much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? By the sounds of it, she knows a lot. I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today, or who they ever were, maybe. Still might be useful. There's gotta be some truth to those stories, right? There is a little bit of truth, but most of it's kind of... Who do you want to hear about? Conjecture. Um... Do you know Calliope. anything about the muses? Or Calliope in particular? Yeah, for starters, there were supposed to be nine. Though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Okay. Each of the muses. Sources are so different. Wait. What, what happened? Did I skip it? 
Supposed to be moves back poetry. She inspired the Odyssey. Oh, awesome. Um, no, but what I was going to say is, uh, that's one thing with mythology is every single source you read will say something slightly different or have a completely 180 of a different event of things that happen. Let's talk about Apollo. Apollo. Yeah. Okay, so the prophecy stuff checks out. Apollo was god of the sun and light, but also kind of of enlightenment in general. He's That's why he's a surfer, bro. and cultured god involved with the arts and the muses. Kind of a Ooh. renaissance man before the renaissance. He's clearly had a rough time since those days. Yeah. Well, he was also a giant horn dog, Grace. I can list off like a dozen <laughs> men who's had his letters, and there's probably more. Weren't they I love it. like that, though? I mean, Apollo's no Zeus. He yeah, never thank God. assaulted anyone as a swan. See, I'm telling you about the swan. They knew I was going to mention god. it had a reputation. He liked to fuck. <laughs> idols. Uh, idols. I idols. Why are you not working? I was just about how many idols. Gods there are are there. From what I've There's heard, lots ton. of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Yeah. Hundreds even, depending on how you define them. Yeah. Oddly, there's never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort Maybe. of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost. And it means someone sense. after they die. That makes, makes sense. Me? Yeah. I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. A lot of them did die. What's been there was lost. a war. But also, well, it might still be out there. Yeah. Um. Tell me what you know Persephone. about Persephone. Honestly... She's the least like her stories. Usually, yeah. she's either a victim or just the wife of Hades, or both. And that's it? She was kidnapped by Hades, end of story? Oh, kind of, not, not really. Her mother was so angry, she created winter. See? Told you. But otherwise, Persephone was just your average sweet and virginal fertility goddess. Ah, you're right. That doesn't sound like her at all. <laughs> nope. It must be hard to be defined by this one thing that happened to you thousands of years ago. I'd be pissed if everyone thought my story ended there. Well, yeah, she is pretty stop. pissed. That much is true. Yeah, she killed Hades. Um, Athena. What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? She's the goddess sure. of war and but wisdom. Mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Yeah, for war. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light. She was a warrior goddess. Mm -hmm. She was also the goddess of heroes. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No yep. female heroes back in those days? Yeah, I Very guess few. not. Women were the... There's like one story I can think of where a woman was a hero. Was portrayed and it was very a rough story. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses. She turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan yep. War. She, okay, so it was Zeus I mean, who did that. It was Zeus who that. attacked... Medusa. Uh, Pan. You said Pan was some kind of lust god, right? How many Maybe lust gods are there? I mean, they all are about Pan's sex and god fucking of the so. wild, and I guess that translates into a sort of lustfulness and earthiness, humping nymphs in the forest sort of thing. And you don't like him. Honestly? <laughs> so it's like a dog. He's exactly what I'd expect him to be. All the stories say he's a lech and a beast. The Christians equated him with the devil. Damn. Weirdly, he's also the only god who's supposed to have died, though it's never really clear how or why. Huh. Anyhow, Maybe that's something I need to bring up to him. There's a statue depicting Pan having sex with a goat. Next time you see him, you gotta ask him about it. Oh my god. I mean, it would be the first fucking god who had sex with an animal. Do you think there might be other gods out there? Well, there yes. are all those gods the idols say wandered off. We don't know they're dead for sure, right? They could be living it up in Australia. Who would know? Then there are all the other mythologies, hundreds of cultures, each with their own pantheon. So what's so special about the Greeks? That only their gods are real, right? All those what if they're not? Pantheons real? could be living in secrecy, just like the. She's idols. like geeking the, the fuck out over this mythology, and it's making me geek the fuck out. And I'm like, oh my god, this would be so cool. And no one would know. It's like a whole other secret side to the world. Yeah, yeah it's cool, right? <laughs> I hope we get to meet Ganesha one day. Or maybe Lakshmi? Oh. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, enough about mythology. I wonder how much of those stories are true. I, give, I say 50-50. I'm giving you the quick version. 
There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. See? Really? Nothing definitive? Nope. Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago. A lot of Grace. stuff didn't survive. A lot of stuff was passed down uh, like a game of telephone. It was just passed down from generation to generation, and the stories got jumbled. Sorry about the band. I should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're about to, you might die, so I think she's a little bit more concerned. How dare you sabotage my dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I love her. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. Oh, honey, no. Well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. Or two, we get back to it, and the band now has the news as its lead singer. Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate band name ever. Nice. Ugh, I still really hate that name. Look, Grace, the, is that the band the name? Of all the drama and name the band. Okay, that's the rule. <laughs> Uh, how have the idols you know stayed I secret? I don't know. That the idols have managed to remain completely secret all these years. Sure, they have magic and whatnot, but in all this time, nobody's found them out. Athena is that good. Who Maybe she tricked them. Maybe it's the cookie. Out. The way I see it, it's like UFOs. Okay, I have to hear this. Does okay, she believe so in UFOs? You have real evidence that UFOs exist and that governments have covered it up, and people still wouldn't believe it. Why? Yeah. Because they'd get laughed at if they admitted it. Imagine the headline. Greek gods exist and are living among us. What website would even run that? Weird conspiracy ones. Yeah. No one would right. believe them. That makes sense. No more questions. Okay. That's enough questions for now. I guess you so. sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Me too. Time for more mystery solving. Bye! Bye, best friend! Why can I not go to the reliquary? It's not letting me go to the reliquary. Okay. So this might be a short episode. I'm not quite sure how, because I had to stop a couple times in between. Um, but... Sorry if this is a short episode. I do apologize for that. But next episode, we shall go to the reliquary. Do some stuff with that. And then we'll talk to Persephone about Medusa. And hopefully, I think Medusa, it's going to be like one of those mis she was misunderstood type of people. You know what I mean? Um, that would be really cool if we could talk to Medusa. And then Medusa's like, actually, this is the person who killed her. But I was told not to say anything. Or, you know what I mean? So, all right. But I'm leaving there. Until next one. My name is Bella. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And peace. I just hit my fucking knee. Ow.